The Japanese company Inpex has been smoothing the way for the release of its environmental impact statement on Thursday. It's been talking to groups that are concerned about what impact the $12 billion gas plant will have on the Darwin environment and fishing industry. The environmental impact statement INPEX will publish on Thursday is the next step towards building a liquid natural gas processing plant at Bladen Point in Darwin. The influential fishing lobby had been concerned a jetty extending from the plant could cut access to the popular Catalina Creeks. The final design of the jetty doesn't involve a physical barrier to the creek, so there's still some issues related to safety and security. Anglers have also been told INPEX isn't planning to discharge chemicals or wastewater into the harbour. We've been reassured that basically um, that there won't be anything in the gas processing uh, operation that will involve that. Indigenous groups are worried dredging could affect dolphins and dugongs. Some are now reassured after being told the dredging will be staggered over time. The environmental statement will be open for public comment for eight weeks before going to the Commonwealth and Territory governments. My job as the Environment Minister is to make sure that it's, uh, it's tested at the highest uh, level of our environmental assessment process. INPEX still hasn't made a final investment decision to build the Darwin plant. And one of Australia's biggest uranium producers has blamed the Northern Territory's wet weather for a fall in production. Energy Resources of Australia's Ranger Mine at Kakadu National Park has had a 44% slump in production compared to the same period last year. ERA says record rainfall in April prevented access to top-grade ore at the bottom of the mine pit. And the bottom's been covered in water, uh, so we are certainly into better grade now and uh, the second half of the year should be significantly better than the, the first half. The company says it's still pushing ahead with plans to expand the mine. Jane Barton, ABC News.